is on. You, it's cool. It's good. Good? Yep. Done. Alright, Shalom, Yashala. Back with another GMS on the go. This is the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. I'm Brother Nakum. Brother Nakum. And again, this is the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before we go any further, we'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashem. Bahashem. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Bahashem. Bahashem. Rakar. Rakar. Kodash. Kodash. Time. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, teaching us this truth according to the Bible. Right. And rule well. And a double shall along to all the sincere I can throughout the four corners of the earth. Pushing the truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. And me and a brother was able to get up today. And we're just going to dive into a lesson on how you so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, who are the real biblical Hebrews, like, are not supposed to love the world. We're going to start with 1 John 2 and 15. God. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world. Right. Talking to you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. John is telling us, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al not to love this world. You see? And when you look that word world up, it's cosmos. You see? So we're not supposed to love this world. You see? And the thing that this world is into. You see? Because this world, they're wicked. You see? This world is sinning. They're transgressing the laws that you remember to the Bible. You see, so we're not supposed to love this world. Read it from top again. Bible the show. This is the book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world, mm -hmm. neither the things that are in the world. Right. And what's some of the things that are in this world? You see, you got sodomy in this world, man with man, woman with woman. You got adultery going on in this world. You see another man sleep with another man's wife. Vice versa, you see, you get these abominable foods in this world, such as shrimp, pork, crab, lobster. You see, you get all these false gods who are no gods in this world, such as Allah, Buddha, the Hindu god of Shiva, Santa Maria, Hala Selassie. You see, Baphomet and so forth. On. You get these pagan holidays in this world, such as Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, Halloween. Valentine's Day, New Year's, Mother's Day, which is actually today, you know, Father's Day, your birthday, and you see, and so forth on. These are the things that's in this world. You see that that Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is telling us not to love. Mm -hmm. God, if I could chime in, yeah, um, pretty much um, the scriptures is saying don't love the fleshly desires of this world, man, such as material items. You know what I'm saying? Such as your, your woman, your car, your carnality, your woman. You know what I'm saying? Or anything that's not of Yah by Shem Yahusha, you're not supposed to love it, man. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to uh, use it, but not abuse it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it reads, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right. So, you love this world? And the thing that this world is, in, is into, you see, then Yahweh Bashim is not in you because he told us don't love this world and the thing that this world is into. Because again, like the brother said, this world, you're into materialistic things, you know, like cars, you know, clothes, you know, holes, which is these women, you know, and, and doing all kind of wicked things that the Heavenly Father told us not to do. Give me that on Romans 12, I think, 12 verse 2. You said Romans 12 and 2? Yeah. Gotcha. It's the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. And it reads, and be not conformed to this world. Right. So we're not supposed to be conformed to this world. And 
when you look at that word conform, it means to acknowledge. So we're not supposed we're not supposed to uh, uh, acknowledge this world. You see, we're not supposed to obey this world. You see, we're not supposed to follow this world because again, this world is wicked, and the things that we're into goes against what the heavenly Father told us not to do. So we're not supposed to um, be conformed. We're not supposed to love this world. Let me read. You know? I read it from the top. This is the book right. of Romans, chapter twelve, verse two. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Right, so we're supposed to be transformed. And we look at that word transform, it means to be changed. You see, so we gotta be changed by the renewing of our mind. Now how are we changed by the renewing of our mind? By getting into this word. You see this King James Bible. You see this 1611. You see by applying it through our daily to day lives. You see? By the renewing of your mind through this world, you're no longer going to um, be conformed to this world. You see, you're no longer going to love this world and the, and the thing that this world is into. God, in the reads that ye may prove what is what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of your by Shimon Right, and, 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 and us renewing our mind through this word, being changed. You see, not being conformed to this world, that is good and acceptable until you have by Shema Washa, who the world ignorantly calls God in Jesus, who's the black man. Right. I got a precept for you. God. This is the book of St. John, chapter 15, verse 18. Mm -hmm. And it reads, If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Right, and this world does hate us. You see, this world hates everything that we stand for. You see, why? Because we come in the spirit and power of your high body, you know, You see, so if this world hates us, then what? It hate, then we know that they hate the lawyer, how shot, who the world ignorantly called Jesus, so called black man, first. Because this world did hate lawyer, how shot first. You see, that's why that, that that's why that's why lawyer, how got crucified, because this world hated him. Right. Verse 19. If you were of the world, the world will love its own. Right. So if we were of this world, doing what everybody else is doing and all the wickedness that they're into, the world will love its own. You see, everybody will be cool with us. You see? Read on. And it reads, but because you are not of the world, because but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hate of you. Right, so because we're not of this world and the things that this world is into, you see, because you have Bashim out of Shai, who the world in it called God and Jesus, who so called black man, chose chose us out of the world, the world hates us because we're not doing the same thing that they're into. You see, because we're not into that we're not in their madness. You know, we're not falling under their folly, you see, which is a lack of good sense. Okay. I got one more precept for you. God. This is the book of first John chapter four, verse five. They are of the world. Therefore, speak they of the world. Right. And that's talking about the two-thirds of our people, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know, you are of this world. You are of this carnal world, man. You know, the world of wickedness, you know. So, therefore, you speak the things that are of the world. Wickedness, man. Like sleeping with the next man's woman. You know, uh, being a faggot, homosexual. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, cursing out your parents. You know, doing eating abominable food such as shrimp, pork, crab, lobster. Uh, serving these false idols, man. That's of the world, man. That's of the world of wickedness, yo. And so you speak things of the world, man, such as rap music, all this demonic, <laughs> all this demonic mess, man. You know, that's of the world, man. You know. Let me nah, that over bro. again. This is the book of First John, chapter four, verse five. They are of the world, two thirds of our people, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and you confusion of the faces. Therefore, speak they of the world, and the world hear of them. Like, example of that is you church pastors, man. You church pastors don't know the scriptures, you know? You don't know the scriptures, man. You are of the world, man. You know? You, you go around teaching other men's wives, 
You know what I'm saying? You have a private section with other men's wives. You know, you, you, you eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster in church. You know, you doing all these things that you ain't supposed to be doing in these churches, man. You know, but look, hey, what shaving off their shaving off their head, bald. Yeah, being bald headed. You know what I'm saying? Having that shiny chrome dome. You know what I'm saying? That could blind you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You know, but hey, the congregation hears them, man. Why? Because the congregation is of the world just like he is, man. So they that are of the world are going to listen to them that are of the world and speak of the world, man. But they that speak in righteousness, they're not going to regard, they're not going to hear it. They're going to cast out their name as evil, man. You know? That's why the scripture says, born to them, they're called good, evil, and evil good, man. You know? That's right. Yeah, that was the precept I had for y'all. That was it right there. Nah, I got one more for you. What you got? This is James chapter 4, verse 4. Ye adulterers mm -hmm. and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of this world is enmity with the most high? Right, see, see, loving these money cars, clothes, and holes, you know what I'm saying? Being a bunch of adulterers, you whores. You know what I'm saying? And being a bunch of adulterers, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's friendship of the world, man. Why? Because that's of the world, man. The world of wickedness. This world is nothing but promotes wickedness, man. You know? That's why you being, you loving this world right here as the condition that it in, uh, uh, having uh, the wicked ruling over you, is your enemy of the most high, man. You know? Because the lake is not going to have or want to have a wicked ruler wicked ruling over them. They want to have righteousness, man. You know? So that's why if you you are the friend of this world, of this wicked place, man, this rulership of the so-called white man, which is the wicked, you are the enemy of your high by Shimei Shah. You are a traitor, man. You know? You got more, brother? Yeah, on. It's a little bit more on it. Uh -huh. Just a little bit more. Go ahead. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world. Right. Is the enemy of the most high Right man Because what is a friend to a friend A friend loves a friend you know So if you're a friend Which means like you loving the things Or the, the conditions out of this world You know so you're an enemy of Yahweh By Shimei Shah, man Because that means you don't want Lord Yahweh Shah To come back and rule and establish righteousness On the planet earth man You want Esau Edom the wicked To be ruling man You want, you want the money cars clothes and hoes you know what I'm saying? You want all you want the uh, the wickedness and finer things in life right about now, man. You know? Hey look, you want you love you you, you want the GMO foods. You want yeah, the I know, right? Yup, yup. They want the <laughs> They want the pig feet. They want the lobster. You know what I'm saying? They want all that. They want the things that are of the world, man. We want the things that are of the spirit, you know, of your high by Shimmy Al Shad. You know, and when Lord, when Lord Yahweh Shah comes back, which the Lord's willing is sooner than when we believe, man, he's going to establish righteousness on the planet Earth, man. That's right. Gone. That was it, brother. That was it. You got anything God, else? Gone. It's on you. Gone. So with that, I hope y'all been edified. It's been another 10 minutes on the go. This is the Raleigh North Carolina camp. Before we go any further, we'd like to get all honor. All glory and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. By Hashem. By Hashem. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. By Hashem. By Hashem. Rakar. Bracha. Kodash. You know, next up, the bonus to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy to the archives out there pushing the Jews from the four corners of the earth. With that, we want to say Shalom, Lord, and you was farewell. Bye, Mashallah.